There's an old adage in the professional speaking world that asks the question, do you need to be funny in your speeches? The response is, only if you want to get paid. That's a funny line, and there's a lot of truth to it. There's no doubt that all things being equal, the speaker who is funny has a leg up, has an advantage over the speaker who's not. The problem for a lot of people is they don't know how to effectively be funny in their speeches in the 21st century. There are some old rules of thumb out there that do not apply to having humor in, in your talks. Uh, for example, some people still believe you should start with a joke. That's a big mistake. If you'd like to learn why that's a mistake and some other insights into humorous speaking, you should join the brand new Advanced Toastmasters Club called Find Your Funny. They meet on the second and fourth Sundays of the, of the month, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a virtual club. We would love to have you there to take a deeper look into the science and uh, reasons behind funny and how to make your speeches more entertaining and more humorous. Now, who am I and why should you listen to me? My name is Michael Davis. My company is called Speaking CPR, but more importantly, I've been a Toastmaster since 1994. I know what you may be thinking. Michael, you must have been six years old when you started. Don't be silly. I was nine. That was an example of an attempted humor. I hope you laughed. Maybe you didn't. Because of Toastmasters, I fell in love with the art of speaking and storytelling and humor in speaking. I started my own company in 2011. I now work with other speakers, business leaders, to make them more effective communicators. And humor is a big part of that. I'll be presenting at the initial meeting on April 11th. So we'd love to see you there to help you become a funnier speaker while still getting your message across. For more details, see the information at the end of this video or below. See you at the meeting.